Do you want a simple solution for storing your coloured pencils, Copic markers, bullet journal supplies, pastel pencils or other stationery for easy access? In this video I'm going to show you my solution. I'm Kirsty Rebecca and I make drawing and painting tutorials that are easy to follow even if you're just starting out. So I used to keep my pencils in the tin that they came in, which is fine if you only have a small amount of sets because you can lay out your layers in your tins on your desk beside your artwork. And people have suggested to me to put my pencils into jars. This sounds like a great idea and it really is aesthetically pleasing, but over the years I've accumulated multiple sets of pencils and I'd need at least 50 different jars. So how do you store all of these sets so they're easily accessible and stored in a practical way for you to be able to use them while you're working and also have some space to work with? I have been using these drawers from Officeworks and if you live in America or the UK or anywhere else, you'd be able to get something similar from a stationery store or on Amazon. They're a standard product that I've seen in multiple locations. They're A4 sized drawers, but instead of opening at the short end or portrait, they open at the long side or landscape. So that way you can open the drawer and have all of your pencils visible in a nice row. A lot of people use these wooden pastel drawers, which are thinner drawers and they look a little nicer and they still fit pencils in the same way. The only problem with the wooden drawers is that I've never seen them for less than $50 in Australia. And I currently need eight of them and that's way too expensive for me. Whereas these drawers from Officeworks are $18. I could almost buy three of them for the price of one wooden drawer. I've heard that you can get them quite a lot cheaper on uh, in the UK or in the US. So it's worth checking out if you like the look of the wooden ones better. I keep the liner from my original pencil tin and then trim the ends off to fit inside the drawer. That way my pencils don't roll around inside the drawer. You could also put a rubber mat down in the drawer to help stop them rolling around as easily. You can lay one flat layer of colored pencils in the drawer so that you can see every color when you open the drawer. But because I have so many sets of pencils, I like to condense mine so that I have less drawers on my desk. So I'll put a second layer of pencils on top and usually I know what color I want from what set. So I keep my sets separated in the drawers and I can just move the top layer of pencils around to see what colors are underneath. Some people probably won't like that idea because it's harder to see the colors. So you can just stick with one flat layer. But for me, it works well to have multiple layers in each drawer. I've also labeled each drawer with a labeler, but I used to just write on masking tape and stick that onto each drawer so I know what's inside. These drawers actually come with their own labels you can write on and stick on the outside, but I find that they tend to fall off. These drawers are actually stackable, so you can stack as many drawers on top of each other as you like for easy storage space or saving space on your desk. I've also bought a 2.4 meter shelf from a local hardware store that I got them to cut in half, and that way you can use that for extra desk space depending on what kind of layout you need. And you can stack the drawers in between the shelves. And the good thing about this is instead of using permanent shelving is that you can alter the layout and remove shelves altogether if you have a larger artwork that you're working on where you need more desk space. I also have two separate art desks so I can switch between two different mediums without having to clean up my desk and rearrange everything. So having the option to change the layout of the drawers and shelves between each desk is super helpful. If I'm working in watercolor, acrylic or oil where I don't actually need the pencils out, I can easily stack them away inside my IKEA cube units and they stack two on top of each other really nicely. And I've also labeled the side of the drawer with the contents to make it a bit easier to see. I've created a playlist on the screen with some other useful art tips that I thought you might enjoy. So click on that and I'll see you over there.